All right, hey y'all. I know I look crazy right now, but um, I'm in the process of doing my makeup, as you guys can see. But I want to review this new Maybelline um, Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. So I'm going to be testing this foundation out. It just came in the mail this week. Um, I got the color Warm Coconut. Yeah, I got the color Warm Coconut. So, um, yeah, the... It says that this is a full coverage foundation up to 24 hour wear. So I don't wear my makeup for 24 hours, but if it's stating that it's a 24 hour wear, this should last me a pretty long time without getting all oily and looking like a mess. Also, it says it's a seamless matte finish. I love matte finishes because I do have oily, oily skin. It says it's a breathable and comfortable. I, I love comfortable makeup like i hate feeling like my face has so much makeup on it that it's just i can't deal um it's a fade and transfer resistant so you know if sometimes say if you're on bay or something and your makeup gets on his shirt this might be a good foundation that way it won't be transferring and doing any of that um oil free doesn't clog pores that's good because i actually have pores and i don't need anything clogging my pores to make my skin break out and yeah so we're gonna try this foundation out i did enough talking let's jump right into it everything nice talk, talk to me nice first I'm gonna do the basics, what I do with all my foundation. I'm just gonna moisturize my skin with this Equate Lotion. Cause right now, I really have combination skin. Sometimes my skin is oily, sometimes my skin is dry, but usually it's like, when I wake up in the morning, my skin is dry. But as I go out throughout the day, my skin gets very, very oily. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Too Faced Primer that I use all the time and I love this freaking primer because it just I feel like it hydrates my skin for real because my skin is like so dry before I apply my makeup and I like this primer because it gives me like a sticky a sticky like feeling something to for my foundation to stick on and it protects my skin from the foundation so i really like that okay so of course i'm going to shake the foundation up very well first time using it yeah i'm really excited to see how this foundation is going to perform because i heard a lot of great things about it all right so it just comes i wish this wasn't white because it's going to get dirty really really fast but it comes with a pump and I'm just going to, I'm going to start off with two pumps first. Well, first I got to get it to come out. Okay, so that's one, that's two, and that's kind of a lot. So this is just two pumps. It looks kind of dark, y'all. I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to take this um, clean, clean color foundation brush, and I'm just going to apply it to my face. So this color looks a little bit dark, but we're going to see once I blend it in. Hopefully it's like the perfect match. I'm not going to apply anymore. I want to just see how much. Okay, so that was just two pumps and I really think this color going to be too dark. But I think I'm going to need some more for like my forehead area. But I'm just going to take a sponge to blend this in with. Yeah, this is dark. It's dark. But so far, it's blending really nicely. I like the coverage of it. It's really orange. But we can work with this with concealer and stuff. But it's actually blending in really, really good. <laughs> the color is not that bad. Honestly, I can work with this color. 
I'd rather my foundation be too dark than too light because when it's too light, mm -mm, it's a no go for me. Actually, y'all, uh, those two pumps did the job. And it does feel lightweight. Doesn't feel like anything is on my skin. It definitely is a matte finish. I can tell you that. Okay, Maybelline. Let me find out you're my new favorite. Okay. So this is just with the two pumps. It covered my skin well. I just got to get my eyebrows. But okay, kind of liking this. And it actually isn't that bad of a color, honestly. Honestly. Okay. So, I think I'm going to take one more pump. Because I'm just extra. And I want to see how this looks. Oh, yeah. This is bomb. And it still doesn't feel like it's too heavy on my face, too much on my face. All right, Maybelline. I actually like this foundation, y'all. I like it, for real. Okay, so this is just with three pumps on my face, and y'all... This foundation looks good. It looks like skin. It looks good. I'm just going to clean up my eyebrow area. Yeah. While I was cleaning up my brows, like, I was just looking at this foundation. This foundation is good. Like, it looks matte. Let me see if it's... I have nothing on my hand. I just want to see, like... Okay, it's a little... It transferred a little bit. Let me see this one. Just a little bit, y'all. Usually, if I would touch my face, it would be like all over my hands. But it's not that bad. So, I'm going to finish my face. I'm going to do my concealer and powders and all that and finish up my eye makeup. And I will be back to give you guys my final review of this foundation. Okay, you guys, so my final thoughts on this foundation. From a 1 to a 10, this foundation is a 20, okay? Y'all, I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my skin looks so mad other than my wet highlighter. <laughs> but this made my skin so, look so good. Like, this foundation is a very, is a very, very matte finish. I can tell you that. That is true. It is a little bit transfer, but I wouldn't say, like, it's too transfer for me. Like, like if I had a regular foundation, it'll be more on my hand. I can't say it is a little bit transfer, but it's not that bad, so I do give them that. This is a very full coverage foundation. It covered everything. I really, really love this foundation. I don't know if it's going to be up to a 24 hour wear, but since I have completed my makeup, it has been like an hour since I have put this foundation on and it still looks good. So no oils are picking through yet, but I am going somewhere with this foundation. So I will keep you guys updated as you guys come back to my other videos. I will tell you guys how this foundation really wore. It does feel very, very comfortable too. Like... I feel like I have nothing on my skin really like this is a very comfortable foundation so yes all in all I suggest you guys go pick up this foundation it is a very good foundation and this just might be my new favorite honestly like I love it and they have a wide range of colors guys so that is a bomb foundation so if you guys like this video make sure that you give me a big thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys later Mwah. all right y'all so we're gonna start off by taking the anastasia beverly hills um prison palette and this is my this is actually my first time using this palette